Hi! Welcome to my first video on this channel. Today I'll show you how to make this cropped velvet shirt from scratch. For this project I used thick non-stretch velvet fabric. You can't really see its color here because of the artificial lightning, but you saw it in the previous clip. I used around 1.4 square meters of fabric. Firstly, I put my fabric down and I cut off the edges. Then I measured a piece with 44 cm length, which is the length from your shoulder to around belly button plus 2 cm, and 44 cm width, which is half of your bust size plus 2 cm. Then I cut it off and this will make the back part of my shirt. Next, I measure and cut two identical pieces of the same length and width as the back piece. Those will make the front of the shirt. For the sleeves I measured two rectangles. The width is 44 cm, which is my arm circumference plus 20 cm, but you can make it wider if you want bigger puffs on the shoulder. The length is 61 cm, which is the length from my shoulder to where I want the sleeve to end plus 2 cm. All those five pieces will create the main body of the shirt. On the back piece I measure 20 cm from the bottom, which is the length from under armpit to the belly button. I do this on both sides of the square. To create armholes I go 5 cm inside and 19 cm to the top and mark there. Then 
Then I draw a curved line from where I marked to the side. I connect the top point and mark in the middle. From there I go down 3 cm and mark there. From the top point I draw lines of 7 cm to the top of the fabric. It's the length from my shoulder to around the neck. I connect those marks with the previous one by a curved line to create a neckline for the back of the shirt and I cut the shape off. For the front pieces I make the same marking for the armhole area as I did with the back piece, but I do it only on one side. From the top marking I draw a straight line to the side, leaving around 2 or 3 cm from the bottom. I do the same for the other front piece, but it has to be a mirror reflection, so I draw the armhole on the other side of the fabric. Now I have both front parts of the shirt. For the sleeves I draw a straight line in the middle, parallel to the longer edge. Then I mark at 45 cm from the bottom, which is the length from my armpit to the end of the sleeve. Next, I make a curved line to connect the marks and create the armhole area of the sleeve. I do the same to the other piece for the sleeve. From the leftover fabric I cut as many rectangles of 8cm width as I can. They will make the tie for the shirt. It's best to make it at least double your waist size plus 30cm. I got around 90.
and those are all the pieces you need to make the shirt. When it comes to sewing, the first thing I do is to secure the neckline on the back piece. I fold it around half a centimeter, pin it and sew it. Remember to backstitch at the sides to prevent the fabric from tearing. Then I do the same for the longest edges of both front pieces to make a nice v-neck neckline of the shirt. Then I connect the back piece with the front pieces by the shoulder area. Remember to sew on the left side of the fabric. Then I fold the sleeves in half, pin the edge down and sew it. At the bottom of the sleeve I fold the edge around 1cm to make a tunnel for the elastic band. When sewing, remember to leave a small unsewn space. After sewing, I use two safety pins to put the elastic into the tunnel and I close it. I do the same on the other sleeve. Next, I make a loose seam at the shoulder edge of the sleeves and by pulling the bottom fret, I create a ruffle. Then, I connect the armhole areas of the main body to the sleeves and sew them together. Before sewing, I recommend checking if you're sewing it on proper sides, for example right to right. Then, I connect and sew the sides of the shirt. On the bottom of the back part I make foldings, to mark them I go inside 12 cm. Then I mark 2.5 cm from each side. I draw a straight line and mark 10 cm from the bottom of the shirt. Then I connect this mark with the side ones. I fold the fabric along those straight lines. I pin it and sew to make a triangle.
Next step, I connect the pieces for the tie to have a one long piece. Then, I attach the tie to the main body of the shirt and sew it. I actually did it 4 cm from the bottom to match the front pieces of the shirt. I do the same for the inside. At the end of sewing the main body, I fold the tie and sew it to the end. I fold the free edges inside to prevent my tie from tearing. I also cut off the edge of the tie, fold it inside and sew it. And I finished making this shirt. I really like how it turned out. I think it's very elegant and fancy and you can basically wear it for any occasion. Hope you like this DIY and see you in the next video. Bye!